they're splitting. I'm Mr. Couch. I'm Mr. Bush. And I'm Koenig, Master of Oboe. Today, we're going to talk about oboe assembly, embouchure, articulation, and first notes. Let's get to it. First, we're going to assemble the oboe. Step one, take your reed, soak it in some water for two to three minutes. Now I need the lower joint. Thank you. This is the bottom. No, it's not. This is the middle. <laughs> now can I have the upper joint? Thanks. Next I need the bell. <laughs> Make sure to line up the bridge keys on either side. And when you put your reed in, make sure you put it in far enough so the cork is in. Now we're going to talk about embouchure. What is embouchure, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Embouchure is how you put your mouth onto the reed to make a good sound. So, the first step to good embouchure is to keep your teeth somewhat separate and then cover the, your lips like granny lips like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to put the reed on your bottom lip and then put your top lip top lip on top of it and then feel the edges your mouth shouldn't be too tight it shouldn't feel like you're biting down on the reed but you're just supporting the reed What I like to do when I play oboe is a helpful little tip, is when I play, I like to make sure my mouth is tight like someone's tightening a drawstring bag, like this. See that, how it's coming in tight? I'm going to talk a little bit to you about articulation. So what articulation is, is how you make different notes just using your tongue. So the basic idea is you apply the tip of your tongue to the tip of the reed while you're playing. I'll demonstrate on a C right here. Now, it might tickle a little bit at first because your reed's going to be vibrating while you play, but that's just something that will come with practice. Now let's learn how to play our first notes. We're going to start on C. If you find the top, the top key up here with the hole and the top key down here without the hole, you're going to use those two keys with both of your pointer fingers to play the C. Now if you put down your middle finger on your left hand, that's going to give you a B flat. A B flat. And now if you put all of your fingers down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and slide your top left finger onto the little half hole key, you're going to get a D. If you add the bottom pinky key, you'll get an E flat. And this is the trickiest one so far. You're going to put your top finger back on the hole. You're going to lift up the middle finger on your right hand. Keep the bottom pinky key on and put your thumb on the octave key. That's going to give you an F. We call that forked F because our right hand is making a forked shape. And it's an easy way to get from E flat and D to F. Those are your first notes on oboe. We are Oboe and the Shack Dudes. Let's take it from the top.
have shown you how to assemble your instrument, how to have good embouchure, how to articulate, and a few first notes. What was your favorite part? I like that too. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> From all of us here at the University of Maryland, have a great holiday season and happy oboe playing.